What's going on, America? It's your boy Charlie and Bark. Check it out. Look at what I got in my box this week is going to be how to read the news, America. Let's get this video started. See, today in the United States of America, just like these videos that I do each and every week with these graffiti walls behind me, if you don't know what you're looking at, you don't know how to read it. And that's exactly what I believe what's happening in the United States of America with its media. They're either plagiarizing you, America. They're telling you what you want to hear, not what you need to hear. And on the other hand, they're acclimating the people, preconditioning them to think and act a certain way in certain conditions and certain circumstances because they haven't hit an agenda behind the freaking scenes. And if that's the case, America, we're in a bunch of trouble as a nation, man. So can you tell me what that says, America? Plagiarizing the people, Charlie, man? Come on, get it right. You don't know what you're talking about. America, well, let me point it out like this. If you would have looked at the media coverage leading up to the decision of the grand jury not indicting Darren Wilson for the death of Michael Brown, you would have thought he was guilty. Just point it out and look at the Al Sharpton show. This man was inciting all these freaking built up emotions inside the American people because he's in talks with the inner circle of the DOJ and this Obama administration. And they had all the evidence showing, just like the grand jury, that he was justified upon his actions. But that didn't matter, America. They needed to get you all wild up because when you got the decision of he was not gonna be freaking charged with anything, they knew exactly what you were gonna do. In America, we played into their hands to acclimate the people, to precondition them, to think and act a certain way under certain circumstances for certain reasons. Come on, Charlie. There's no propaganda being played upon the American people, right? America, I gotta stop you right there. Let me point it out to you guys like this. How many Americans today would say that the Constitution was only written for the rich white people and wasn't written for people with an ethnic background? How many of Americans today would say they live in a country of men, not of law? Just look at Obama wanting to give in to amnesty to five to six million illegal aliens. He has no authority to do it, but Congress is they're gonna stop him. See, they're sowing the seeds of discontent in the hearts and the minds of the American people. How about if they have video evidence of you causing harm to your neighbor and it contributed to his death. Do you think you would have the full extent of the United States government and the laws that govern it presiding upon you and you will get charged with the crime? But look at the decision of them not charging that police officer with the death of Eric Gardner. Even though they show excessive force in the video and the coroner's report says that it would cause the death was a homicide and a contributing factor was him being choked, no crime is committed and no charges are being freaking charged. See America, they want to sow the seeds of discontent in the hearts and the minds of the American people to feel that this form of government is outdated and needs to be changed. In America, we're falling for it. What we as Americans have to do is take a step back and look at the right in the wall because we're in a bunch of trouble, man. So if you're not going to do everything to power to destroy your life, liberty, and this country, America, you're going to do everything to power to destroy our three. Charlie in the box out. Charlie Buzz, baby.